Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at some useful accessories for GoPro Hero 10 Black and Hero 9 Black. The whole accessories ecosystem is in my opinion one of the most important reasons to use a GoPro or basically any other action camera. Accessories greatly increase the versatility of GoPro cameras and they can give them big advantages over indirect competitors. In this video we will take a look at 23 accessories that can significantly increase your creative options. This list is made specifically for Hero 10 and Hero 9, but most of these accessories will also work with older GoPros and action cameras from other brands. All of these accessories will be linked in the description. The first category that we will take a look at is protection. Hero 10 Black is not a particularly cheap action camera. That is why I highly recommend installing screen protectors. These usually come in packs for both front and rear screen. Lens protector may also be included, but I don't use that one. I recommend using 9H screen protectors. These are very durable and fairly easy to install. They don't really decrease the brightness or the sharpness of the screen. These are being sold by many different brands, so I will leave a link to the pack that I recommend in the description. If you also want to protect the rest of the GoPro, you can do so with the original GoPro sleeve. It is very easy to install and it provides 360 degree protection if you combine it with a screen protector. I really like this configuration because I can simply throw it into a bag or a pocket without worrying about it. A bit more advanced accessory is a cage. This small rig cage is in my opinion by far the best one. Much like any other small rig product, it is very well made and it fits perfectly. The first and the most obvious function of this cage is that it protects the GoPro in case of an impact. The second function is that it is great for mounting. There are quarter inch threads all around the cage. You can use those basically with any kind of mount. You can also use those to mount the GoPro on a tripod using the Arca plate. If you want to use the GoPro mount, it also has a folding finger mount system. The third function is that you can use it to mount accessories to the GoPro. You can do that using those quarter inch threads or a cold shoe mount on the top. The fourth and very important function is that it works as a heatsink. You may have heard that Hero 10 has some overheating issues after about 20 minutes of recording. This cage basically solves the overheating issues. I was able to get unlimited 5.3k high bitrate recording time when using this cage. The longest time that I have tested was 45 minutes. The GoPro was warm but it was nowhere near as hot as it was after 20 minutes of shooting without the cage. If you want to shoot longer clips with your Hero 10, this is literally a must-have accessory. This cage is one of my most used GoPro accessories and I very highly recommend it. The last accessory that I will mention in this category is waterproof housing. I have this one from Telesin mainly because I wasn't able to get the original case anywhere. It works just fine and it cost me about one-sixth of the price. Hero 10 and Hero 9 are water resistant up to 10 meters without the housing, but my preference is to avoid direct contact with water and always use a housing. I also use it for vehicle exterior shots to protect the GoPro from elements, dirt, insects and so on. The next category of accessories that we will take a look at are mounts and mounting solutions. I will start with my favorite tripod for GoPro, smartphones and small cameras, which is the Siri Traveler 5C. 5C is in my opinion absolutely perfect for GoPro. It is just 31 cm long when collapsed and it only weighs 850 grams, which is incredibly light. Maximal payload is 4 kg, so we can also use it with a mirrorless camera and it is fairly stable. It is not a replacement for a full-size tripod such as 7C, but it is way more than sufficient for GoPro and mobile filmmaking. Maximum height of 5C is 138cm and the minimal height is 16cm. 
The build quality is very good. It feels very solid and nicely machined. Twist locks also work very well. Included ball head is very decent considering the size. This is the carbon fiber version, but it is also available in aluminum if you want to save some money. The carbon version is in my opinion fairly priced as well. Overall, I am very happy with this tripod and I can highly recommend it. Here I will also mention the small rig GoPro to Arca mount. It allows you to mount your GoPro to a standard Arca head using the quick release buckle. It is made of metal, so it is much more durable than most GoPro mounts. For normal point and shoot filming, I use PGY Tech extension handle, which also doubles as a tripod. It is really well made, the handle is long enough for comfortable grip, and it has nice rubberized surface. It is 14.5 cm long, and it can be extended to 40 cm, so it is also useful as a selfie stick. The only disadvantage of this handle is that you need to push the central column up a little bit if you want to use it as a tripod, but it is not a big deal. A smaller alternative is GoPro Shorty. It is a very similar handle, but it is shorter at 11.7 cm and it is not rubberized. It can be extended to 22.7 cm, so it is not as useful as a selfie stick, but still very practical. I still use this one a lot, just because it is so small and I also like the short screw on this one. My favorite suction cap mount by far is this one from PGY Tech. The suction cap on this one is super solid. It definitely won't fall off no matter what. The camera connects to the suction cap using a double ball head arm. That basically gives you unlimited options for getting the right angle. It has the standard GoPro mount, but it also comes with GoPro to quarter inch adapter, so we can use it with cage or without a cage. If you want something even stronger, PGY Tech also makes a version with three suction caps. This is also suitable if you want to use it with some larger cameras weighing up to 1.5 kilograms. I mainly use this one for exterior driving shots to be extra safe. I also like to use two other versions of this mount. The first one is the adhesive mount. It comes with four base plates that you can stick basically to any surface. Two of the base plates are straight and two are curved. These use 3M VHB adhesive which is very strong and secure if applied correctly. Then it uses GoPro buckle mount to attach the ball head arm to the base. You can use these for example for helmets or basically for any applications where you can't use other type of mount. A very similar idea is the handlebar mount. It uses the same ball head arm but there is a clamp instead of an adhesive mount. You can use it on bars with 22 to 35 mm without the insert and you can also use it on 8 to 16 mm bars with the rubber spacer. I use this one for example to mount a GoPro to the headrest inside of a car. One of my most favorite mounts is the GoPro magnetic swivel clip. First of all, it is a very good and solid clip mount. You can clip it basically to anything up to about 1.5 cm. The base is also a very strong magnet. This will hold on any ferromagnetic material. It is very secure, but I wouldn't recommend using it on moving vehicles. It has a classic GoPro buckle mount which can be rotated. Another very useful mount is the small rig clamp. This is a super high quality all metal clamp with very convenient tightening system. It has both quarter inch and three eighths of an inch mounts. You can use it basically with anything that has a quarter inch attachment. I mainly use it with this small rig magic arm. It is also all metal and super solid. The ball heads on both ends are interconnected with the locking screw, so when you loosen it, you can move the ball heads. This is a very versatile and also budget friendly mount, so I highly recommend this one. One of the more advanced types of accessories are the filters. With Hero 10, I use the all day package from Freewell and ND1000 also from Freewell. The all day package consists of ND8, 16 and 32 and a circular polarizer. 
As you probably know, ND filters are used for decreasing the amount of light that gets to the sensor. That allows you to decrease the shutter speed and achieve the right amount of motion blur. They basically make the footage look more classy. Circular polarizer is used for cutting out scattered light that reflects from certain surfaces such as the water. They also increase the saturation of some parts of the frame, mainly the sky. ND1000 is mostly useful for long exposure stills. All of these filters are optically very good. It won't be possible to tell the difference in the sharpness with and without a filter even with the ND32. Hero 10 has a pretty good lens detaching system, so mounting and filter on the GoPro is pretty easy. These filters are also compatible with GoPro Hero 9. One of the essential accessories are the batteries. I have tried a lot of third-party batteries over the years with either bad or terrible results. The only batteries that I can recommend are the original GoPro batteries. They are not that overpriced by GoPro standards and you can be sure that they won't cause reliability issues. I also like to use GoPro's original double charger. It is very compact and it can charge two batteries at the same time. The charging is pretty fast at 16.5 watts. You can also get it in a package with one spare battery at a pretty reasonable price. For the storage I use two PGY Tech carry cases. The smaller one is the carry case mini. It is very suitable for a GoPro with essential accessories. It comes with dividers so we can configure it according to your needs. The upper part has some smaller pockets for cables and a handy net that I use for filters. Larger carrying case is similar, there is just more space inside, so you can use it for example for four action cameras, pocket two and a handle. The upper part also has loops for cables and other stuff and also the net. Both of these cases are super high quality, very durable and I like the material a lot. I highly recommend these cases. Regarding the audio, there are two external recording options. The first one is the media mode, which has a separate microphone, 3.5mm input jack and also HDMI out port. I don't have that one, so I can't tell you much about it. The second option is the good old 3.5mm to USB-C adapter brick. This is not the most compact or convenient adapter, but to be fair, the preamp in this thing is really good. It also allows you to charge the camera whilst it is connected. Small rig makes a mount for this adapter, so we can conveniently mount it to the cage. Regarding the microphones, the first one that I recommend is Mirfac N2. This is a very well made microphone which comes with anti-shock mount, foam windshield and a dead cat. It sounds very good in my opinion and I actually like it more than Rode Video Micro at the moment. Regarding the lav mic, I use Deity VLAV. It has TRRS connector but it can identify TRS connection and send the right signal. This mic has 5 meters long cable which makes it very versatile and suitable for content creators. The third type of microphones that I use are compact wireless microphones. At the moment I like these VE10 Pro mics also from Mirfac. This is a really good set with one receiver and two microphones that can be connected at the same time. Both receivers also have integrated microphones. One great feature that I really like on these is that they have micro SD card slots and you can record the audio onto the SD card as a backup in case that anything interferes with the wireless connection. These are generally very good wireless microphones, so I highly recommend them. So these were my favorite accessories for GoPro Hero 10 and Hero 9. Hero 10 is a really good action camera on its own, but the selection of accessories provides a ton of new creative options. I hope that this video will help you choose the right accessories and get some great shots with your GoPro. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down, if you would like to ask anything or share opinion please do so in the comment section and see you next time.